So, if you buy the right card from, for example, AliExpress, make sure it's writable on block zero, then you can go ahead and clone NFC cards using the Flipper Zero. This content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you want to use this knowledge, please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone, that is illegal and you can go to jail. Hello and welcome, we're going to talk about the NFC card cloning technique today using the Flipper Zero. Now there's only a few things you actually need on your Flipper Zero in order to clone a card. You need an app called NFC Magic, then basically you just need to have the actual Flipper Zero in order to do this. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and connect our Flipper Zero to our computer using our normal USB cable, just like that. Go ahead and click connect on labflipper.net. That's the way you go. And this is the one you're gonna pair it with. And now we are pairing our Flipper with this website. On this website, we can go ahead and click the apps, go ahead and write NFC in the top. And if you don't have the app NFC Magic, just go ahead and click install it now. And then you have the app on your Flipper Zero. Now, I also have a video about this web page right here on my YouTube channel where I talk about this is a verified page. The apps on it are relatively straightforward. You can probably down every single one of them on your Flipper Zero. Now, I only downloaded one right now. So a few things you need to worry about when you're gonna go ahead and clone your card is first of all, the first factor is speed. So when you have your very normal card, you have something for your jobs, like this particular card, you say beep, and then you think, ah, I want a duplicate card for me to use. All right, so first of all, you need to read the card. Now, the way you read that card is to use the built-in card reader on the Flipper Zero. Uh, after that, when you read it, and that's gonna take some time, you know, depending on the actual card you're trying to read, it can take 30 minutes, an hour, and sometimes it can take like beep, a few seconds. Most and probably what you're gonna find is it's gonna take a bit. The one I have for my job took around 30 minutes, but that is the way it is because of the not that powerful CPU in the Flipper Zero, it's a not that power hungry at well, which is why we can have the Flipper Zero running with almost no battery for a very long time. That is the true and raw power of the Flipper Zero. You can have it in your pocket and it will not run out of power anytime soon. Go ahead and use NFC Magic to write the actual data to the card. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. I wanna say I already read my own card from my job on a Flipper Zero, but I'm gonna show to you through the app called Q Flipper. So go ahead and open up Q Flipper if you don't have it already. Q Flipper is the program where we can mirror our Flipper Zero through software. So right now it says we are connected to this web page right here. So we basically need to disconnect it. So we can break this one there. Now we're disconnected. And then we should be able to connect our Flipper to Q Flipper. So now that we have Q Flipper running, and this is just a word of caution, if you connect it to the web page labflipper.net first. You have to, in most cases, just pull out the cable on your Flipper Zero and pull it in again in order to let Windows, if you're using Windows or other operating system, to re-recognize or reconnect the Flipper Zero because it kind of acts like a USB stick. So the plug and play driver needs to recognize the device one more time. It's gonna take you around 30 seconds and then gonna boot up in Q Flipper, just like the one program I have running right here. The way it will look is basically just like this when it boots up. Go ahead and just maximize it and then click the button here and go and navigate to NFC. And basically what you're gonna do now is just press read and then you're gonna take your card you're gonna read, put it under the flip of zero just like that. Don't move it and depending on if you already read the card or you didn't read the card, you know, this and that so on. This can take quite some time in this particular case, it already found the card, of course, already read the card once.
So what we're going to go ahead and do now is to go back and just say exit. Uh, under saved cards, you will see the card that you just uh, scanned. So what we're going to do now is to go back under the apps we installed the NFC magic. Just scroll down a bit to NFC and go ahead and pick NFC magic. What we're going to go now is go ahead and run the one called check magic tag. That's going to enable the flipper zero to recognize the card it's going to use, which is why it's important now we just stop for a second. What you're going to need to have is a NFC block zero card, which is probably this one right here. Uh, let me see just, yes. So UID, UID zero or block zero or magic card, called many things, magic card, copy clone, whatever. Basically, they come in packets just like this, and then you can unfold them if I can do that. You know, just, you know, take them out, take that out. And I have one of them right here, which is the magic card. So what you're gonna go ahead now and do is to take it under the Q flipper, and it's gonna detect it as a Gen 1 AB. So what you can do now is press more, and write and then pick whatever thing you have and then click continue that's the card you already read and boom you're done and then you can check it one more time and it should be good to go now depending on so many different things and this is not a a to c tutorial on everything this is just basically how do you read it and write it on your card I want to mention a few things just to, well, there is a, a certain app you can go ahead and use. It's called MF Key 32, which an app you can go ahead and brute force the keys on the card. If you need to do that some certain way, well, or reason you have to use that kind of app right here, which is also present, uh, I think here on, so let's go MF uh, on the apps, what was the name again? key something yeah it's right there so go ahead and install that app and you can read everything about it right here and what you're going to go ahead and check out is basically the writing of data to magic cards and it does talk about here that the data nfc cards have unique identifiers and so on and we cannot change those so this is why we need the uid rewritable nfc card the white one have right here so i should be able to use that card on my job it does talk about different kinds of supports here. Gonna go ahead and check that out. Um, some cards you cannot read because they are not within the, well, it's without the, it's they're not a part of Flipper Zero repository. So it is the limitation of the Flipper Zero. If you want a device that's gonna be able to read more different cards and faster, you need one of those Proxmark 3, I think they're called. And they are quite, well, a bit a little expensive compared to Flipper Zero, but they're also worth it if you're going to go ahead and create your own cards. So basically, this is how you're going to do it. You know, that's the the magic step. You know, use the use the app here, NFC Magic. Just read the card and have these magic cards. You can buy them from you know AliExpress. That's basically what you're going to go ahead and do. You can also do use it on the normal tags and so on and so on. Now, depending on the card, you're gonna try ahead and clone, you know, um, if it's an easy one or a bad, you know, card, uh, it's gonna be easy for you to duplicate them. Just wanna say basically that this is the way you're gonna do it. If you wanna play around with it and, and, and talk to your boss, you know, about how to increase security and so on, basically have to invest in, in better card systems with, with higher security, you know, and, and some challenges saved on the card. So whenever you are trying to log in, could fam for example, be challenged with a code or something like that. So you have to do some physical, you know, extra authentication. So I wanna say, really hope you, you learned something from this video and I hope you will go ahead and check out, you know, some other videos on my channel. Please play in mind that, you know, this is of course only for educational purposes. I don't think it's a good idea for you to go ahead and check out other different cards if it's not yours. 
don't do it. It should only test your own cards. So please consider subscribing to this channel. You know, I have a wide variety of different kind of videos about penetration testing and hacking and so on. Um, this is a bit more serious video, but depending on the type of video you, you find, I might be in a more jolly mood. All right, so see you again online. Have a really nice day.